Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan here. Presently, I'm giving the lectures on the subject financial accounting. In this subject, the topic is depreciation, depreciation accounting. The last two videos I have given regarding the introduction theory of depreciation. What are the different type? What are the different methods of calculating depreciation? What are the what is the meaning? Uh, definition of depreciation, characteristics of depreciation, reasons for providing depreciation, all these things I have given in the previous video. Hope my regular viewers have already watched the theory video. Then one video I have uh, explained about the short problems on depreciation. Then the next video I have given the three main problems on depreciation. Now I am going to start the fourth problem, fourth main problem on depreciation. So before starting the video, I expect my regular viewers to have a hard copy printout of the problems which I have provided in the link under my description. Take a printout, keep it ready before watching the video. And for those viewers who are first time watching my channel, I suggest you to visit the playlist of my channel. I have uploaded a number of subjects videos there. You can select your subject like advanced accounting, cost accounting, corporate accounting and uh, business statistics financial management, investment management, so many videos I have uploaded, select your subject, select your topic, watch the video, enhance your knowledge. Now I am going to start the next problem on depreciation, problem number 4. See the fourth problem. <clears throat> tick Tick company purchased the second hand machinery on 1st January 2000. Understand the problem. Understanding the problem is half solved, so concentrate on the problem. Tick Tick company purchased a second hand machinery on 1st January 2000 for Rs 12,000 and immediately spent 8,000 on overhauling. So second hand machine, 12,000 rupees cost, 8,000 rupees overhauling the machine. So the cost of the machine will come, will come 20,000, 12,000 plus 8,000, 20,000 is the cost of the machine. Now. On July 1st, 2000, additional plant costing 10,000 was purchased. In the same year, first machine was purchased on 1st January 2000. Second machine was purchased on 1st July 2000. Same year, 1st January and 1st July. First machine on 1st January, second machine on 1st July. On 1st July 2000, additional plant costing 10,000 was purchased for so two machines. On 1st July 2002, the machinery acquired on 1st January 2000, having become obsolete, was sold for Rs. 4000. Now, 1st July 2002, the machine which was purchased on 1st July 2000, first machine, was sold away at uh, Rs. 4000. On the same date, another machine was purchased at a cost of Rs. 24000. On the same date, 1st July 2002, one machine was sold, another machine was purchased. Depreciation was provided annually on 31st December at the rate of 10% per annum on original cost of the machine. See, we have to remember what is the method of depreciation to be provided. Here in this problem it is given original cost method, straight line method. In original cost method, the amount of depreciation will remain same every year. It is given 10%. 10% on the cost of the machine that will remain same and show the machinery account as it appeared at the end of each year from January 2000 to December 2005 so for five years we have to show the machinery account every year what is the value of the machinery now we'll begin our solution see here machinery account debit credit on debit side, we have four columns, date column, particulars column, GF, journal, folio and amount. Same four columns on the credit side, date, particulars, GF, amount. Now when a machine is purchased, the entry will be machinery account data to bank. When we purchase the machinery, machinery account data to bank. The machinery account debit side to bank cost 12,000 rupees. For overhauling charges, same entry, machinery account data to bank. So to bank overhauling 8,000. So 12,000 is the cost of second hand machine and 8,000 overhauling charges. The total cost of the machine will be 20,000, 12,000 plus 8,000. This took place on 1st January 2000. In the same year, 1st July 2000, one more machine was purchased, second machine was purchased. Again entry will be machinery account data to bank, so to bank cost 10,000. 
Now we have two machines. First machine 20,000, second machine 10,000. Every year accounts are closed on 31st December given in the problem. The first year we close it, 2000 December 31st by depreciation. Now we have to provide depreciation on two machines, first machine and second. The first machine was used from 1st Jan to 31st December, full year. So 20,000, the cost of the machine is 20,000. So 10% of 20,000, 2,000 is the depreciation. Second machine, 10,000. So 10% 10 of 10,000, 1,000. But 1,000 for one year. Here the machine is purchased on July 1st. So July 1st to December 31st, 6 months, half year. So 1000 is the annual depreciation for half year depreciation 500 so 2000 plus 500 2500 is the total depreciation on both the machines on both the machines now we'll take the balancing figure 20 plus 10 30,000 debit side 30,000 credit side 30,000 minus 2500 27,500 is the by balance carried down balancing figure one year completed at the end of the first year the value of the machine, WDV of the machine is 27,500. Return down value of the machine is. Now we'll come to the second year, 2001. So 2001, January 1st, to balance brought down 27,500. This is carried down, this is brought down. Now we are starting the second year. Credit side, by depreciation. Now there is no purchase, no sale in the year 2001. No new machine purchased, no machine sold. So we'll close the year. 31st December 2001 by depreciation. Now we have to provide depreciation on first machine as well as second machine for the full year. How much is the amount of annual depreciation first machine 2000? 12,000 plus 8,000, 20,000. 20,000, 10%, 2000. Second machine 10,000, 10,000, 10%, 10,000, 10 1000. So 3000 rupees is the annual depreciation for both first machine and second machine. Now take the total 27,500 total. From 27,500 subtract 3,000, 24,500 is the closing balance at the end of second year, 2001. So now we are coming to the third year, 2002. 2002, January 1st, two balance brought down 24,500. Now during this year, in 2002, there is one purchase and one sale of asset. Purchase of asset, machinery account data to bank. So debit side July 1st to bank cost 24,000. The new machine purchased 24,000. And on this day, July 1st, 2002, the machine which was purchased on 1st January was sold. It is given in the problem. The machine which was purchased on 1st January, this 20,000 worth of machine, that machine was sold away for rupees 4,000. So whenever a machine is sold, Three entries you have to pass. The first entry is sale proceed, the second entry depreciation, third entry profit or loss. Three entries you have to pass. Now, first entry will be sale. When the machine is sold, bank account debtor to machine account. Machine is going out, so we have to credit machine. Cash is coming in, so we debit bank. The bank account debtor to machine. The credit side buy bank sale 4000. Right now, we have to provide depreciation for this machine. How many months from January 1st to July 1st? Six months. What is the annual depreciation of first machine? 20,000. 20,000 into 10%, 2,000. Annual depreciation, 2,000. Half year depreciation, 1,000. Half year depreciation, 1,000. So, by depreciation, 1,000. So, two entries passed one sale proceed, second depreciation. Now, we have to find out profit or loss for this machine which is sold away right what was the cost of the machine 20,000 was the cost on 1st January 2000 here in working note I have shown you how to calculate the profit or loss so in working note you can see loss on sale of machine cost of the machine on 1st January 2000 20,000 now less depreciation first year how much depreciation was provided on first machine 2000 second year 2000 and third year 1000 in third year, it was used only for half year. So 1000 depreciation. First year full depreciation 2000. Second year full depreciation 2000. Third year half depreciation 1000. So total depreciation provided 5000. So here I have taken depreciation 5000. So what is the WDV of the machine at the time of sale? 
20,000 minus 5,000, 15,000. 15,000 is the WDV written down value of the machine on the date of sale. And this 15,000 worth of machine was sold for rupees 4,000. 15,000 worth of machine was simply sold away for 4,000. So there is a loss of 11,000. Loss of 11,000. The entry will be profit and loss account data to machine account. The entry will be profit and loss account data to machine account. So credit side by profit and loss account, loss 11,000. That's all. So 1st uh, July, three entries we have passed on sale of machine and one entry we have passed for purchase of machine. Now we close the year, 31st December 2002. Right now we are on July 1st. Now 31st December. First we have to provide depreciation on the remaining machines, two machines. Totally, first machine already we have sold away. Second machine is there. This second machine was used throughout the year. So 10,000, 10%, 1,000. So 1,000 is the depreciation on this second machine. Now new machine is purchased during the current year 2002. What is the cost? 24,000. 24,000, 10%, 2,400. So 2,400 for one year. But we want for half year. Because it is purchased on July 1st. And we are closing the account on 31st. December. So for one year, 2400. For half year, 1200. Half year, 1200. So 1000 is the depreciation of second machine, and 1200 is the depreciation of the third machine. So 1000 plus 1200, 2200 is the depreciation. Now balancing figure. Take the total debit side 48,500. From 48,500 subtract minus 4,000, minus 1,000, minus 11,000, minus 2,200. You will get the balancing figure 30,300. 30,300 by balance carried down. This is the closing balance at the end of the third year 2002. Now I am coming to the fourth year 2003. So debit side. 2003 January 1st to balance brought down 30,300. Now, during this 2003, there is neither purchase nor sale of any machine. So we close it. So close it. 2003 December 31st by depreciation. Now we have to provide depreciation on two machines, second machine and third machine. Second machine depreciation 1000, third machine depreciation 2400. 24,000 into 10%. 2400. So 1000 plus 2400, 3400. Depreciation. Take the total 30,300 minus 3400, 26,900 is the closing value at the end of 2003. Now I am coming to 2004. So 2004, January 1st, to balance brought down 26,900. From here I have brought down. Now there is no purchase, no sale in 2004 by depreciation. Same. Annual depreciation will remain constant because we are following original cost method. So same 3400 depreciation. So 26900 minus 3400, 23500 is the closing balance on 31st December 2004. Now coming to last year, 2005. 2005 January 1st to balance brought on 23500 from here. Now close the year, no purchase, no sale. So by depreciation 3400. Take the total 23,500 minus 3,400, 20,100 is the closing balance on 31st December 2005. In the problem, it is asking you to make the machinery account up to 31st December 2005. And we have prepared up to 31st December 2005. Now carry over to 2006. 2006 January 1st to balance brought on 20,100. Stop it. Because in the problem, it is asking you up to 31st. December 2005. Here it is complete. That's all. So the only thing is you have to remember what are the entries to be passed when the machine is sold. How to find out the profit or loss. Here in working notes I have shown and remember these three entries. When the machine is sold, three entries. First sale proceed by bank. Second entry depreciation for on that machine which is sold away. And find out the profit or loss. That's it. So this is the end of problem number four. Come on, now we'll start the next problem that is problem number five. On July 1st, 2001, a company, a company limited purchased a second hand machinery for rupees 20,000. 
तो रिमेम्बर द डेट फर्स्ट जुलाई टू थाउजेंड वन ए कंपनी लिमिटेड परचेज अ सेकेंड हैंड मशीन फॉर रुपीज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एंड स्पेंड थ्री थाउजेंड ऑन रिकंडीशनिंग एंड इंस्टॉलिंग इट दैट मीन्स वेन सेकेंड हैंड मशीन इज परचेज डेफिनेटली सम रिकंडीशनिंग ओवर हॉलिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड दैट विल बी कैपिटलाइज now the machine cost is 20000 plus 3000 23000 the cost of the machine will be 23000 depreciation will be provided on 23000 cost on 1st january 2002 the firm purchased another machine for rupees 12000 this is the second machine the so first machine 23000 second machine 12000 this is purchased on january 1st 2002 on 30th june 2003 The machinery purchased on first January two thousand two was sold for rupees eight thousand, and on first July two thousand three, a fresh plant was installed at a cost of fifteen thousand. So that means on thirtieth June two thousand three, one old machine was sold and a new machine was purchased. The company writes off ten percent depreciation on original cost. Original cost means again WDV. Oh, sorry. Uh, original cost method means straight line method the cost the accounts are closed every year on 31st march show the machinery account for the year ending 31st march 2004 so every year the accounts are closed on 31st of march and we have to prepare the machinery account up to 31st march 2004 now see here <clears throat> this is the machinery account a company limited machinery account debit side <clears throat> 2001 July 1st 1st July 2001 the machine is purchased entry machinery account at to bank so to bank cost 20000 installation charges paid same machinery account at to bank installation 3000 on the same day July 1st 2001 the cost of the machine will be 23000 now when the machine is purchased on July 1st 2001 The accounts are closed on thirty first March next. Thirty first March next year, two thousand one means two thousand two thirty first March. The accounts will be closed on thirty first March two thousand two. But before thirty first March two thousand two, another machine was purchased. That is first January two thousand two. So two thousand two January first. So two machines are there in the first year itself. The first machine is purchased on July first, two thousand one. The accounts are going to be closed on thirty first March two thousand two. So before thirty first March two thousand two, on first January two thousand two, another second another machine was purchased. So two bank cost twelve thousand. Now we have two machines. First machine twenty three thousand. Second machine twelve thousand. Now we close the year first year. That is thirty first March two thousand two. So. Credit side March thirty first two thousand two by depreciation. Now we have to provide depreciation on both the machine, first machine and second machine. So ten percent of twenty three thousand into how many months from July first to March thirty first. So July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March nine months. So we have to calculate nine months depreciation nine by twelve. So ten percent of twenty three thousand into nine by twelve, you will get one seven two five. So one seven two five is the depreciation of the first machine. Second machine twelve thousand. So ten percent of twelve thousand into how many months? It was purchased on January first. We are closing the accounts on thirty first March. So January, February, March three months. So three by twelve. Ten percent of twelve thousand into three by twelve, you will get three hundred. So one seven two five is the depreciation on first machine. Three hundred is the depreciation on second machine. Add up both. Two zero two five is the total depreciation of two machines, both machines. Now we take the total on debit side. Debit side total you calculate thirty five thousand. Take the same total credit side thirty five thousand. Now subtract thirty five thousand minus two zero two five. So closing balance of machinery account is thirty two thousand nine seventy five. First year completed. First year completed. That is, first July two thousand one to thirty first March two thousand two. So we have closed. Now thirty two thousand nine seventy five will take it to the next year. The year ends on thirty first March two thousand two. So next year will begin from first April two thousand two. 
फर्स्ट मार्च के बाद नेक्स्ट मंथ अप्रैल फर्स्ट अप्रैल 2002 टू बैलेंस ब्रॉड ऑन नाउ द नेक्स्ट ईयर एंड्स ऑन 31st मार्च 2003 यू कैन सी इन द प्रॉब्लम देयर इज नीदर परचेस नॉर सेल ड्यूरिंग दिस ईयर फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अप्रैल 2002 टू 31st मार्च 2003 देयर इज नो परचेस नो सेल द सेल इज देयर on 30th june 2003 30th june 2003 we are closing the accounts on 31st march 2003 so there is no purchase no sale during this year so we closed it 31st march 2003 by depreciation first machine depreciation 2300 second machine depreciation 1200 for full year so 2300 plus 1200 3500 is the total depreciation on both the machines Take the total debit side, thirty-two nine seventy-five. Thirty-two nine seventy-five minus three thousand five hundred. Twenty-nine thousand four seventy-five is the closing balance of machinery account as on thirty-first March two thousand three. Now we'll start the next year, third year. The next year will begin from first April two thousand three because we have closed on thirty-first March. The so first April two thousand three to balance brought down twenty-nine thousand four seventy-five. Now. The year ends on 31st March 2004, but before 31st March 2004, one machine is sold and one machine is purchased. On which date machine is sold? 30th June 2003. 30th June 2003, one machine is sold. So whenever a machine is sold, three entries will be passed. First entry sale proceed. Second entry depreciation. Third entry will be profit or loss. So first. 30th June 2003 by bank sale at what price it was sold 8000 rupees given in the problem which machine was sold the machine which was purchased on 1st January 2002 it is given in the problem the machine which is purchased on 1st January 2002 this is the second machine this 12000 worth of machine was sold away for how much 8000 So entry will be bank account debit to machinery account. So credit side by bank sale eight thousand. Now secondly we have to provide the depreciation. Depreciation on this machine. The annual depreciation is twelve hundred. Ten percent of twelve thousand is twelve hundred. So twelve hundred is the depreciation for one year. Now we we'll see how many months the machine is used. Year begins from first April, and the machine is sold on thirtieth June. So April, May, June. Three months, three months depreciation we require. So twelve hundred into three by twelve, twelve hundred rupees is the annual depreciation. So twelve hundred into three by twelve, three hundred. Twelve hundred into three by twelve is three hundred. So three hundred rupees is the depreciation. Twelve hundred into three. This is the depreciation for three months. Now we'll find out there is profit or loss. Now in working note I have shown you. Loss on sale of machine. What is the cost on first January two thousand two? Twelve thousand less depreciation. How much depreciation provided in the first year? First year depreciation is three hundred. See here. First year three hundred rupees and second year depreciation twelve hundred rupees and third year depreciation three hundred rupees. So first year three hundred, second year twelve hundred, third year three hundred. Now you add three hundred, twelve hundred, three hundred. So total depreciation eighteen hundred minus eighteen hundred ten thousand two hundred is the WDV on the date of sale. At the time of sale, the value book value of the machinery is ten thousand two hundred, and this ten thousand two hundred worth of machine is sold for eight thousand rupees. Eight thousand. The actual value in the books is ten thousand two hundred sold eight thousand. So there is a loss of two thousand two hundred rupees. Loss on sale of machine two thousand two hundred. Entry will be profit and loss account debit to machinery account. So machinery account is credited by profit and loss account. Loss two thousand two hundred. That's all. So these three entries are passed on the sale of the machine, and it is given in the problem first July two thousand three. A new machine is purchased. A new machine is purchased. So machinery account debit to bank first July two thousand three. To bank cost fifteen thousand. That's all. Now we have to close the year. The year will be will be closed on thirty first March two thousand four, because we have started on first April two thousand three. 
the year ends on 31st March 2004. Now we have to provide the depreciation on two machines. Which are the two machines? First machine and the third machine. First machine and the third machine. Second machine was sold. Gone. Now what is the depreciation on the first machine? 2300. 23,000 into 10% 2300. So 2300 is the depreciation of the first machine. Now third machine purchased in current year, 15,000. 15,000 is the depreciation, uh, uh, depreciation is 10% of 15,000, 1500. 10% of 15,000 is 1500. 1500 is the annual depreciation. But how many months the machine is used? July 1st. July 1st to March 31st. July 1st, 2003 to 31st March 2004. Nine months. Nine months depreciation we have to calculate. So 1500 into 9 by 12. 1500 into 9 by 12. You will get 1125. 1125 is the depreciation on this machine. Right? So 2300 plus 1125. 3425. 3425 is the total depreciation on first machine and third machine. If uh, you find any doubt, I will write it down here. 1500 into 9 by 12. You will get 1125. You will get 1125. Right? This 1125 plus 2300, 3425. Now we will find out the balancing figure. Take the debit side total 44,475. 44,475 minus 8,000 minus 300 minus 2200 minus 3425. Balancing figure is 30,550. So 30,550. This is the closing value of machinery on 31st March 2004. That's what it is asking in the problem. It is asking in the problem to calculate the value of machinery as on 31st March 2004. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 5.